Today we dig up another great oldie moldy goldie on the Monster Hobbies What's in the Box series. What's in the box? What's in the box? What's in this box? What's in the box? Hello once again model car builders and Oldsmobile fans. Are you ready to unbox another great model kit? Well today you've clicked on the right channel because we are going to be unboxing this great 1970 Oldsmobile Tornado, the front wheel drive mama car, right here on Monster Hobbies, at Monster Hobbies. You know where we are. <laughs> anyway, this car is an amazing kit, and to celebrate, I'm wearing my old Oldsmobile Club jacket from British Columbia that I was in the Olds Club in the 1990s. I actually got a chance to drive, uh, ride in one of these cars with one of the Oldsmobile guys. And this is a 455 cubic inch motor. It's front wheel drive, so it had a lot of forward momentum acceleration. Pretty much you felt like you were being dragged <laughs> at full speed. It's an amazing machine. So let's stop gabbing here and uh, let's do our little spiel so don't forget to like subscribe and share this channel with all your friends and family pound that notification bell so that every time i make a new video you're the first one to see it and don't forget to check us out at www.monster-hobbies.ca and now let's go down to our tabletop and rip the lid right off this thing and see what's in the box and now we return once again to the GM Oldsmobile's showroom as we get to check out this amazing 1970 Johan Tornado. So, of course, this kit I got from somebody. And unfortunately, there's a big peel off of the top of the box here. However, this model kit is in 125th scale. You can also build it as custom. And the one thing I love about Johan kits, of course, is the hand-drawn or the drawn artwork looking like something right out of an old showroom brochure of the time period. Turning it up here we can see all the groovy details. <laughs> we have our Hearst Mag wheels in here, a rear rolled pan, chrome exhaust extensions, chrome pedals, right and left drive shafts, detailed lower suspension, steering spindle, tachometer, front wheel drive, 455 Oldsmobile, big, big block. And if this is anything like the Johan Eldorado kit, well, of course, it'll also be pretty cool. We have a little notation here. Missing battery, custom grill insert. I know there's a few other little pieces missing on it. And then here on this side, we get to see some more available USA oldies. So I've reviewed a couple of these kits. There is the 1960 Plymouth station wagon, which I did as a police car review from loaned from my friend John and then this one here was also loaned from my friend John the 1970 Olds 442 hardtop. Now I'm not sure where we are in the order of things. I think this was last time's video. Anyway you can check it out or wait till next week. <laughs> At any rate you're going to be seeing both cars on this channel. So now let's get the skinny on our 1970 Olds. And like I said, there may be some components missing out of here. We'll just have to play it by ear. So there's our Johan instruction sheet for this great model. Somebody did sand the roof on this a little bit. But uh, everything's kind of all pieced together. So there's our Oldsmobile Tornado body. Okay, here's our seats, front bucket. And of course, the... Uh, or sorry, our front bench seat and of course our front bucket. And much like the Cadillac, this also is... I wonder if it's the same interior. No, maybe not. It's got to be differences. Okay, and there's our hood. And then our chassis here. This may be shared with that Tornado. Or, uh, sorry, the uh, <laughs> El Dorado Tornado. Do, 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 do. Hey, they're both B bodies. Okay, and there's our chrome. Oh, I do have those wheels. Groovy. There's our inner fender apron. And then somebody was kind enough to put all these in a Ziploc. So we'll take a look into those. What else is going on here? There's a big Tornado dashboard. I actually got to drive in one of these cars as a passenger, or ride, I guess. 
I was in the Oldsmobile Club, as you saw with my jacket there, and a friend of mine named Harold had one of these. Can't quite remember the year, but it's around this time period. Anyway, that was exhilarating. Front wheel drive in a 455. It's like you're being ripped forward at like warp speed. So there's our front suspension there inside this nice little um, napkin, I guess. <laughs> I hope. Ooh, is our front windshield, but there's some yellow crud on here. Uh, it looks like a glue burn or something. Anyway, that'll be an interesting challenge for me to polish that out if it's possible. And then here's your Johan wheels. These really feel rigid. Holy smokes. Oh man, they're made out of cast iron here. <laughs> it's okay, I got more Johan wheels I can use. And somebody was kind enough to take a big red sharpie in the bottom of the box and they wrote a secret message that we will have to try to figure out how to decode this thing. No, it says 70 Tornado, of course. All right, so I'll clear all this debris and rubble and rubbish out of the way, and we'll take a look at those instructions. Here's our instruction sheet for our USA Oldies 1970 Oldsmobile Tornado. And of course, just a few four short years ago, the Tornado was really the leader in front wheel drive cars. For 1966, it was actually the only front-wheel drive car from GM. Pretty much all the other manufacturers, actually. Okay, so here's our Johan instructions, which I love because they're just one page. So zooming back, not forward, here we have all the engine components and how to build your chassis and then your choice of the wheels. And then you just flip this thing over, and there's your interior going together, and your body, and the grill, and everything. So what I'll do is I'll zoom in on each of these panels, and we'll take a quick look at it. So here's our Oldsmobile 455 big block. And as you can see, the engine is one solid piece. The oil pan pops underneath. Our intake manifold drops from the top, and then we have our carburetor popping in place. Our oil filler tube going up front, just like it should into our front cover. There's our alternator and power steering pump as well as the fan belts and pulleys and our five bladed fan sitting here. And it shows our oil filter going on there. And remember that these engines ran, I do believe counterclockwise, to the other engines that were available on the market from all the other manufacturers. There's our transfer case cover, our transmission case, transmission oil pan, our uh, differential sitting here and our differential cover. There's our cylinder heads. You get um, some for both sides, of course. Your exhaust manifolds and your valve covers, which are chrome, as indicated by the little C. And then we've got our starter on this side of the engine. Our next panel here shows our chassis assembly. We have our radiator shroud gluing onto the radiator wall. The tie rod locates in here on your right spindle. And then the engine locates in this area here on your frame. There's our lower suspension with the torsion bars. And then we've got a hydraulic steering dampener, which glues to the tie rod here. And it says feed through the chassis to the spindles. And that would be on these little points here. And then we have a axle, which goes through the holes in the chassis. And then here we have our choice of wheels. You, of course, can get your great big Oldsmobile stock wheel covers to pop into those rock-hard tires or use your Hurst mag wheels. These ones are really cool as well. And they pop in. The tires, of course, have white walls on them. And then you've got your front wheel backs and your rear wheel backs to pop into place. Here we have our back panel with our bench seat front and back as well as our headrests which are, again, two pieces. You have your choice of the stock steering wheel or the custom steering wheel, the steering column, the tachometer, which is chrome, same as the steering column, by the way. There's our pedal assembly, same as in that Cadillac. And then you've got your dashboard sitting here, or instrument panel, all going into this interior bucket. Then we get into our final assembly steps with our big, long hood and our body. There's a post underneath, which will go through your windshield or your tail shield windows, 
whatever. And then your interior tub pops in and it's got these two lock washers that will click all this together. Then we've got our brake master cylinder and our heater duct popping onto the firewall, which is molded onto that interior bucket. Our two fender wells, our battery, and the front grill and bumper. And then there's a custom grill insert you can pop in there too, if you don't like the stock. There's our rear bumper and long tail lights. Or you've also got this rear rolled pan with the two exhaust extensions popping out the bottom. Which would be interesting. I, I wonder how they do the tail lights on that. Anyway, all of your body and everything. Oh, there's a mirror in there too. And your racing mirrors on the sides. All this stuff pops down on that chassis. And then you've got your car finished. And that completes our look at the 1970 Oldsmobile Tornado Instruction Sheets by Joe Han. Here we have our front wheel drive Tornado body. And like I said before, somebody was sanding this down a bit just to smooth it out. So I imagine there was a bit of flash up in here. I've got the hood just sitting on just so we can see how it fits. Actually, I don't think it fits that badly, but time will tell. I'll just move the hood out of the way for a second, if you don't mind. <laughs> Let me know in the comments if you do mind. Anyway, there's the uh, vent panel. And as I was saying in some of the other videos, I think GM's the only one that brought the hood right up to the actual dashboard for 1970. Maybe even they did that a little bit earlier in the late 60s. There's our front fenders. You can feel even hear that. The razor's edge of sharp, sharp seam lines going up there, which of course we'll have to sand down a little bit. Okay, how does our body look here? Well, I try to exercise as much as I can. No, anyway, <laughs> there's our side marker lights, the Tornado emblem. Uh, I guess it's marking lights and turn signals in that. And um, yeah, there's the proper vents along the back. Much like the uh, Buick Riviera, actually. And then we've got Tornado on the trunk lid and the little, uh, I do believe that's a gas filler door, but no, I'm, I'm not too sure. Anyway, uh, there's a panel in here for hooking in your rear bumper and everything. There are some big mold marks underneath on the roof. This one's really tall, so you can always scrape those down with your number 16 hobby blade. And uh, the front has the front valance pan molded in place, which is quite nice. Because some of these are really hard to glue in and on little edges and whatnot. So I'll give kudos to Johan for that. And then let's just move this for a minute. There's our hood. And this needs a lot of work along these edges. As you can see, there's a part tree button on there. And tornado on the front hood there in the script. Underneath we have one big mat with a couple of mold marks in there, which you'll have to fill and, you know, mess around with your hobby blade. And there is some flash on the hinges. Be careful not to uh, get rid of these little square points on the ends, because that's what's keeping your hinges from, uh, you know, operating properly. Anyway, there is our Tornado body. And here we have our interior tub for our Tornado. And if I bring this up to the camera, you can see there are some big mold marks on the floor. In fact, very high raised buttons. So this is going to be quite a bit of work with your hobby blade in there. There are some mold marks just right there, which could be hard to get at. Ooh. Uh, um, flash along here. Quite a bit of it too, but very reminiscent of that Cadillac from 1970, the Eldorado from Johan as well. And then, of course, it's got the little loops in there, much like the promos. Now, the upholstery is not too bad, but again, this is a tub. So you're not going to get that nice GM door handle like this, or a window crank, I should say. So that's sort of a downside of it. But overall, I think it's quite neat. And I also like how this will come through on the bottom of that chassis. So speaking of the chassis, let's just dissolve onto that. And here's our Tornado chassis. And again, not much on this side. A couple of mold marks in there. Sand them down. But as you turn it over here, you can see the built-in exhausts and the mufflers and the crossover muffler and all that. 
there's our gas tank very cool bits and pieces of course and all looking the way they should so let's move on here now here's all our blue components and somebody was kind enough to completely cut all of these off a of parts tree and i hope nothing is missing <laughs> wow how would i even tell okay there's our dashboard and our front suspension here there's our front bench seat and the seat back the headrest backs and over here's the headrest fronts then we've got our big 455 cubic inch motor and all its components as well as some of the transmission bits and front spindles the distributor the steering wheel the drive shaft your um, steering linkages or actually your your tie rods pardon me and then uh what was this guy again the hydraulic steering dampener uh, more transmission bits there's the little locks and our front uh, drive shafts right and left and then our inner aprons there's the rolled pan the radiator support the front um, custom grill insert the top of the radiator and the fan shroud there and uh, your blower motor and transmission cover I think that's about everything so I'll bring a bunch of these parts up into the camera so we can see them a bit better let's see for example there's our block for our Oldsmobile and you can see the rockers in the top and our cylinders the bore down there frost plugs along the side there's quite a bit of flash on here which of course you'll have to take care of Again, something cool you could build and have on the bench sitting there like this, right? All in pieces. There's your cylinder heads. You can see lightly the uh, valves in the top of the cylinder heads. And then there's your spark plugs going in there. It's pretty authentic to an Oldsmobile, um, as we see in my real 1972 Cutlass. Although I don't have the 455, I got a 350 in there. There's our intake manifold. Uh, uh, let's see what else is interesting our seat backs looks like the real thing I think Harold the guy had, was in the Oldsmobile with back in the 90s the Tornado I think this was his year 1970 because it does seem very familiar in uh, the front end there's that dashboard and this was quite a neat thing now in 66 Oldsmobile had a dashboard on it, or the uh, speedometer was on a drum. So as you sped up, it rolled, and there was a needle that stuck out like this in the drum to tell you, you know, where you were in uh, speed. But I do believe they got rid of it in this year and replaced it with some other kind of uh, speedometer arrangement because I do believe the drum was a little problematic. Oh, and here's that rolled pan. And if I bring the body back, I actually can see that the rolled pan is going to cover all that. And it actually goes way up there. So if you look at this, there's no taillights on that, on the custom. I don't know where they're supposed to go into. So anyway, quite a cool component. And uh, oh, and then you can also see the nice detail on the grill here. Looks almost like a Chevy kind of thing. Or maybe Buick, like on my dad's 74 Century. Anyway, there's all our components for the blue parts. And now let's look at our chrome. And now my favorite part of all of this is the chrome tree, because it's so groovy. <laughs> and as you can see, well, let me put this down here. We have our front grille and then our Oldsmobile wheels. And then our rear bumper here. And there's the exhaust extensions for the custom, the rear view mirror, our pedals. Then we've got our chrome transfer case here. And then a custom steering wheel in chrome, our five bladed fan, the valve covers, and our air cleaner, as well as the steering column and those cool Hurst wheels. So let's just bring this up to the camera. And then there's the grill. You can add in your black wash in there 
The headlights are molded in place, so again, you don't need to worry about their alignment. And then look at those Oldsmobile wheels with the Oldsmobile rocket in the center. Our license plate here actually says Tornado, which is nice. And then for tail lights, there's the red strip that would go in behind here. So again, quite nice. And then our wheels, air cleaner. Now, do those valve covers say Tornado or do they say Cadillac? Interesting. <laughs> okay, there's our transfer case as well. And that extra steering wheel. And a lot of other cool bits and components. I think the chrome on this is very nice and should look good on your car. Next up we have the glass and this is typical of a 60s, 70s era kit where we have the runners going right across from our windshield into our rear window. And then of course we got the big holes in here for mounting. Now, like I was saying, unfortunately there's a yellow glue thingy on here so I'm going to have to find a way to sand this glass down, which I really hate doing, and try to clear it up. Maybe it'll wash off. Oh, I don't know. Might be wishful thinking. There's mold buttons on here, which will have to be removed. Now on yours, there won't be this thing, I hope. <laughs> but anyway, if you can find one of these kits, or all this Johan stuff's pretty rare these days, unless they made a lot of it, which you can find easily. There's our tail lamp, and again, there's some flash on it but should look good once you get it in the back of your car. So now let's check out those rock hard wheels. Now, if you like rocky road, you're going to love these rock hard tires. I don't know what happened. I guess over time, the uh, vinyl on here got so hard <laughs> it turned into uh, concrete. I don't know if I can actually boil these in water to soften them up, but I do have extra Johan tires. They should fit. But what's nice about these is they have this nicely printed on white wall, which looks to be about dead center on the tire. Sometimes when they print these, especially back in the day, they were off center. But these look pretty nice. The tread pattern is just simple, just goes right around. And of course on the back you've got black walls. So hopefully your tires won't be as dead as these, but either way, they still look quite nice. And that completes our look at the 1970 USA Oldies Oldsmobile Hardtop Tornado by Johan, which of course you can also build custom. And if you've built this kit back in the past, please tell us how you enjoyed building it, if you had any problems, and what your solutions were to solving those problems. Like perhaps you had problems with the right and left drive shafts, or that detailed lower suspension with all its components. Well, let us know how you solve the problems. And if you'd like, please share photos of your model over on our Facebook page. And I guess it's peace, love, and granola. Well, I sure hope you enjoyed that great video of our 1970 Oldsmobile Toronado by Johan. I try to bring you all the model kits, old, new, good, rare, bad, <laughs> whatever semi-built sometimes no anyway but i try to do my best with these videos because i really want to try to chronicle all the model kits i have as well as some that some of my friends are loaning me that i don't have that'll make great reviews so that when you want to find these model kits and you have questions hey you just need to watch my videos and all the answers will be revealed Ooh -ah! Anyway, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this channel with all your friends and family. Pound that notification bell so that every time I make a new video, you're the first one to see it. Also, check out all our available current model kits that I'm trying to sell and get rid of at www.monster-hobbies.ca. Once again, www.monster-hobbies.ca. Check us today. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> and if you want, and help us to grow our channel. Don't forget to check us out on Patreon if you want to share some great videos and photographs of your builds, no matter what they are. Check us out on our Facebook page and we also have other YouTube channels. So check it all out in the description below. And until next time, Oldsmobile fans, happy building!